In your time at Watford, you were six seasons at Watford. Can you remember how many managers you played for? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Under the Pozo ownership. Can I say first season? I remember well five. <laughs> Was it five? Five. In the first season. Five managers. You and I speak about the Pozo ownership mm. uh, from time to time, Simon. Yeah. In your six seasons at Watford, you played under 10. Ten. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah. mean, what was that like that was at that hard. time with managers coming and going? This is the puzzle way, isn't it? Yeah, this is what uh, uh, Gino likes to do when they think it's not going well. I don't know if, if he's wrong or, 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 or right to do, but uh, he always tried to keep uh, uh, the uh, structure, the structures uh, same, in the same way. Right. Yeah. He tried always not to affect the players. Of course, different manager uh, they want different things it will affect but uh, he always try to do the, the, the so best so their style is if they don't think it's working they yeah, change it you don't away. think there's much wrong with that Simon that's a prerogative of no, an owner I don't think it's ideal <clears throat> but I think it's worked to a point for Watford because Watford were not a club that had a God given right to be in the Premier League and yet they were in the Premier League for six seasons out of ten mm. when lots of clubs that were financially stronger than Watford were languishing in the championship, I was going to ask you, Aurelio, as a player, as an owner, I knew what it would mean to players to some extent. Some players, it would give them a lift if a manager got fired. Some players, it would be something they didn't like because that manager favoured them. But as a player, and you're sitting there watching the conveyor belt of managers come through, what's that like? Does it, does it, does it enable certain players to get a feeling that they can control the destiny of managers but they don't fancy playing for them? What was that like for you? Uh... Look, Simon, I think if the player is committed, is committed to do the right thing, you know, you have to, to be on the club side because the club is, is the, the, the one that is going to support you in any time. You know, of course, it's, the, it's not nice sometimes because you like, you like managers, uh, you know. Uh, I like, uh, I, I never had a problem with managers apart from Harry once. <laughs> Harry? Uh, uh, yeah. What was the problem uh, but with Harry? I was, I, I was with him in a, in a chariot game and I, I apologized to him, you know, because <laughs> I will bring this here because uh, one, uh, yeah, he put me on the bench, on the bench and... Uh, one day he said to me, come here, big man. I want to talk to you. Uh, Brad, I think he played against Crystal Palace. In, uh, not, not Crystal Palace. Brad Friedel. Uh, yeah, mm. Brad Friedel. He played uh, against uh, QPR. Yeah. And he didn't have a, 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 a good game. So he came to me a day after and he said, now I realize that you're the best goalkeeper at the club. And uh, I was upset with him, of course. But I said, I said uh, to Harry, I don't want to play for you anymore. I made my biggest mistake in football was that. Because he dropped you? Yeah, because he dropped me before and he was going to give me another chance, you know, there. And I said that to him. And uh, I went to a, char a charity game with uh, uh, Tottenham another day and he was there. And I, come, I came to him and I said, I want to apologize to you, Harry, because I did that in that time. You know, and uh, forgive me, please, because uh, you know I uh, sometimes uh, you have to think before you say something, mm. and I didn't think about uh, about that. But uh, uh, it's an ego with ego, when you're a footballer. Exactly, exactly. Your ego kicks exactly. in. Exactly. Yeah. And did you play exactly. for them again, Harelli? Uh No, I, I I never. I that never, was the last time you that, played. La last time I, I played. You regret last that. Last time I regret that. I regret that. And uh, uh, Harry is a great man great man and and uh, that's why I, I I wanted to go to him and apologize to him you know mm. so uh, but uh, like uh, when I was at uh, uh, Watford uh, uh, one manager that uh, I was really upset with the decision <laughs> was uh, Marco Silva we were doing so well you know a chance I believe was coming for him for, to go to to Everton Everton he, we did uh, the first half of the season we did so well you know, but he was a manager that cared about the, 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 the team. He wanted to succeed. And that was the only manager that, uh, oh, I felt, my gosh, what uh, is this, this decision, you know, especially in this time of the, the season. Didn't January. he choose to leave, though? Huh? Wasn't it him choosing to leave? It wasn't. No, he, he got sucked. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but, but, yeah. Heredio, yeah, but he, he engineered a situation, yeah. and created a, yeah. an absolute uproar because he wanted to go. 
Mm-hmm. And he'd started very well. He'd signed with Charleston, yeah. hadn't he? Yeah. He'd started very well. He yeah. was doing very well, and Everton came in after three months. And yeah. He decided that Everton was a big. So club. what yeah. you mean is they sacked him because they knew be- he because was he was doing press conferences in the most outrageous fashion. Ah. Well, Farhan yeah. Mishiri wanted. Yeah, but uh, but uh, you Silva. know what? Uh, yeah, but uh, you know what? Uh, uh, what he told me that uh, he he didn't want to leave in that time. You know. Do you but, believe uh, that? Do you believe that, Harello? <laughs> He 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 was always fair with me. We had a very good conversations. We had a very good re- relations as well. So, uh, of course, you in some point you have to believe. Hmm. So, but uh, uh, all the decisions that Watford made, I never, I never stayed against them. That was a question. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. yeah. Simon. Listen, talking about so, being fair to people, you're a fair man. You you helped Richarlison big time and at, Joe Pedro. At Watford and Joe Pedro, didn't you? With good advice oh, and help, Jim. Uh, you, you know what? Uh, it's so difficult when uh, South America. We are no better. We are no better than nobody. But we need the, some guidance. We need some help when we arrive in England. It's so difficult. Uh, the change is big, massive change. You know, when Richarlison arrived, I I said I said to myself, I need to help this guy because otherwise, uh, he is going to take a long time to adapt. And he's not going to deliver on the pitch. Watford can't spend a lot of money in another player, so it needs to be him. I need to embrace him. So I went. I went to open the, his first bank account. I I told him uh, where to live. Uh, I was there every day to pick him up and to take to the training ground because he he didn't drive. So uh, John, when he arrived, was the same thing because uh, Jim, I, this is so important. Maybe for uh, City, for Chelsea, that they can spend and, you know, they can have, uh, they will give the time for, for the players. So yeah, that sure. is okay. Sure. You know? You took on that role. Yeah. You helped. You so the- if, if, if the player is okay, his mindset is okay outside the pitch, he's going to deliver. He, if he has a very good uh, mentality. And, you know, uh, he's going to deliver on the pitch. He's going to give me points. You know, he's going to help the club. So yeah. uh, that was always uh, uh, the thing that uh, I I normally I I did this did and I said it it uh, at when I was at PSV as well. When I arrived, was very good people there helping us. Mm. But uh, 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 the times goes on, and they just left that a little bit on the side. And I told them, be careful because you cannot just open. You know, you cannot just... You can't uh, disregard them. Ju- rega- yeah, no, put no. on the side the, yeah. the good things that you are doing. They need you know? your help. Yeah. yeah, they need your help. So yeah. you helped him. And now he's at Tottenham. Funnily enough, a similar kind of path as you had here in England, Watford yeah. and Tottenham. Is, 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 is it the right move for, for Postacoglu? Is he going to become a, a big, big player? Uh, Jim, he had a very difficult season uh, year last year. I know him well. I'm his friend. And I know things that I cannot say here, but uh, he had a tough, tough, uh, personally. Um, I told him in July that uh, he needed to do the uh, the surgery that he did uh, two, yeah, two months ago, yeah, yeah, four, yeah. F- yeah. Eight, week, eight, eight weeks ago. But he said, no, I want to be on Brazil squad. I said, you have to think on yourself as well first. Imagine if you go to the Brazil national team, uh, 50%. Yeah. Imagine if you play for Tottenham, fifty percent, and he was playing like this, fifty percent, because he wanted the same mistake like I did when I arrived at Tottenham. I played injured, you know. People sometimes when uh, I was crying at his talk, you know, I was with injection on my in my ribs, and nobody knows because I wanted to play because Tottenham uh, in that in that time they, they played wanted the, you. yeah yeah they they paid eight and a half million, uh, you know, pounds. In that time, for a goalkeeper was a big amount, sure. you know. And I, I wanted just to give that something back to 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 the club, but I ma- I made a big mistake. Mm. Mm. So I regret on this as well because sure. uh, you yeah. know you have to have uh, you have to be a hundred percent to play because and you they, don't want Richarlison people... to make the same mistake. Exactly, yeah. but it's still it's yeah. still it's still the right mentality because if more players had that mentality, you're going to be better off. I understand what mm-hmm. you mean. Cause yeah. I yeah, know yeah. players, some who would not play if they hurt their toenail, yeah. but a lot of players, the good ones I yeah. knew, they would play injured sometimes because they want to. They've got a sense of responsibility for the. Don't. But Richarlison's, well, I think Richarlison, when I watch him and I watched him a lot at Everton, every time he plays, he 
He yeah. always with he gives he goes everything. For it. Yeah. yeah, he goes for it. He goes for it. Uh, 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 like uh, I played with a uh, grade three on my groin yeah. when we qualified for Champions League against City away from home. Yeah, I remember the game. I was with a protection on my right groin. Uh, I you couldn't. I couldn't kick. Yeah, I couldn't kick. I remember. I remember. I got injured on on Sunday and on Monday. Daniel Liv he called me. I, we need you on on the game against City. I said I cannot walk. He said I said, but I, I'm gonna try. I want to try, and uh, I played that game, you know. But I put myself in the risk for the club, you know. Same. But sometimes, you owners, you owners. So, but sometimes, but sometimes the people they don't think, think sure. about no, they that they, yeah. because they don't know the picture. Of course, of them, of course of you know course. they don't know the picture. But uh, uh, of course, uh, 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 Richarlison they had the help. Yeah. He, ha he I helped him. So many people helped oh, him. Uh, John Pedro. Uh, so many people helped him yeah. as well. But they have their own, you know. Of course. Uh, well, we're good. I'm looking forward to hearing more of that. The other side of the twelve thirty bulletin, Harelli. You, you obviously you gave the right advice to Richardson. I'm looking forward to you sharing his bank account details uh, <laughs> in this next break. Twelve thirty. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.